The Dallas Cowboys traded for cornerback Stephon Gilmore, and today we're going to analyze a couple of selected plays from the 2022 NFL season. In my opinion, the Cowboys get arguably one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. That too, they get him for a fifth round pick. I absolutely love it. Let's get right into this film breakdown. The Colts are in a cover one, which means Stephon Gilmore is in a one-on-one -on -one situation here with the wide receiver. The receiver is going to run a post. And Gilmore's going to open up his hips to the outside. He's basically going to give the receiver an outside leverage. So as the play begins, Gilmore opens up. He's going to allow the receiver to go to the outside. And he's going to play underneath this. So the second the receiver makes his break to the inside, Gilmore's going to undercut it, get his eyes to the inside, and play this absolutely perfectly. Keep in mind, this was in the fourth quarter with two minutes left in the game. This was a very, very clutch moment for Stefan Gilmore to come up big, and he absolutely delivered. Cover one, one-on-one -on -one situation with the safety over the top. The safety does not help him. The safety ends up helping the slot corner here. The safety that's going to help is a safety there. So you can see that Gilmore is truly in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He does a beautiful job on this play, but there's one other play I want to share with you guys in the same game. Which is this play here. This is the final play in overtime. You can see Gilmore here lined up against Cortland Sutton. Sutton's going to run an in-breaking route. And once again, Gilmore is in a cover one. So he's in a man-on-man -man situation. And he's going to force the pass incomplete. This is what superstar players do. They make superstar plays. And keep in mind, this isn't from two, three, four, or five years ago. This play right here is from last season. Gilmore comes up big and he breaks this pass up. To me, when I watch a guy like Gilmore, these are the type of plays that stick out. The plays that you need to come up big, you need to make the play to win the game for your team. And he did this a number of times last year. Really nice job by the veteran corner to be able to run stride for stride here with Cortland Sutton, change direction. Yeah, he'll be 33 years old soon, but... He was making these plays at 32. I'm pretty sure he'll be making these same plays next season. Now, when I say he's been making these plays, I literally am not lying. Uh, here's another situation. You got Devontae Adams, a top five wide receiver. This is a cover zero, so you're going to get all these guys to blitz. And this is a true one-on-one -on -one situation. Fourth and seven, final play of the game. And Stephon Gilmore wins the game. Stephon Gilmore breaks up the pass against Devontae Adams, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. This right here ended the game, and these are the type of things that Gilmore has been doing all season long. This play sticks out to me, right? Because I'm obviously a Raiders fan, you guys know that. Um, and this play right here was just a really nice job by Gilmore to find the football as it's in the air. Not a pass or interference, both guys are kind of fighting. And Gilmore gets his hands in there, and Gilmore literally breaks the pass incomplete. Superstar players make superstar plays. Obviously, for me, the biggest thing is the fact that the Colts trusted him against Devontae Adams in a one-on-one -on -one situation, and he delivered. And again, just like in the Broncos game, he was lined up against Sutton, and he delivered, and this is exactly what the Cowboys needed. In fact, I know some of you guys might not agree with this, Gilmore may be the best cornerback on the Cowboys this upcoming year. Like, especially in man-to-man -man situations. Gilmore is special, and I think this was such a beautiful pickup. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. The Colts on the, are in a cover three, and Devontae Adams is going to run a deep post. And Derek Carr is going to throw it out there. Now, there's no space for Derek Carr to throw this ball. Devontae Adams is covered by Gilmore, who's over the top. Carr still puts it out there, but again, great job by Gilmore once again, breaking the pass incomplete. Uh, Stefan Gilmore was doing this all year, and this is just another example of just that. I wanted to obviously throw this in there uh, because it is against Devontae Adams, and Gilmore does technically get the pass breakup. Uh, you guys can see from this side here, he's all over it. Really, really nice job right there. Let's get into the next rep. Are right, you guys jumping forward? You guys remember this one here. Gilmore's in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Michael Gallup. I believe this is a cover three. Don't quote me on that. It does look like zone coverage. Gilmore's all over it. Jumps it. Intercepts it. Beautiful job. Third and ten here. Uh, and, and then, of course, after after intercepting the pass, he makes a play. Really nice job. Uh, you guys can see it here. Gilmore's all over it. Gallup ends up following. Uh, they're fighting. And to me, that's going to be one of the big things with Gilmore is he's going to fight a lot. He is one of those cornerbacks that's known for being aggressive, uh, getting his hands on the opposing wide receiver. And I do think that is why he's going to be such a great fit for the Cowboys. 
the Cowboys want these type of corners, right? The long, lengthy, they'll get up in your face, they'll punch a guy in his mouth, and they'll play physical football. So again, really nice rep by Gilmore. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. All right, you guys, jumping into this next rep, third and eight, not 100% sure if this is a cover three or some sort of cover five, um, but a really nice rep once again by Gilmore. He's going to jump the route. This is a pass to the tight end, Evan Ingram. You guys can see it from the backside angle. He's here to the left of your screen. Great job once again, locating the football, realizing being in zone coverage where the tight end ended up sitting, and he gets his hands on the football. Let me back this up, try doing this in slow motion for you guys. The quarterback sees his target, gets the ball out, and just like that, Gilmore jumps it, almost has another interception. What a nice job by Stefan Gilmore. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. A lot of people talk about Stefan Gilmore's lack of interceptions, but he did a really nice job last season finding the football and getting his hand on the football. Really nice job on this play specifically. Uh, he's in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Justin Jefferson at the bottom of your screen. He's going to see Jefferson break on his route to be outside and look at his ability to change direction, find the football, and try to intercept it once again. Great job in my opinion. Once again, by Stefan Gilmore. You'll see it from the backside angle a little bit better. Really, really nice job to try to intercept the pass. Again, his biggest asset is his man coverage ability. And I think he's going to be a really good scheme fit for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I do want to just wrap this video up, making this final statement. Last season, Stefan Gilmore wasn't involved a whole lot in the run solely based off of the Indianapolis Colts scheme. They're really in that Gus Bradley cover three scheme. Uh, which doesn't involve the cornerbacks to really help defend the run. So that's going to be one of the big differences with the Cowboys versus the Colts. The Cowboys do rely a little bit more on the cornerbacks to step up and hit somebody. Uh, so plays like this where it's an outside zone to Gilmore side, he's dropping back in the coverage. Either way, just wanted to throw that in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Gilmore, in my opinion, is a great pickup for this team. One of the better corners in the NFL still, in my opinion. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.